Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everybody, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Whitehurst's Titans going up against Ryan's Falcons. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week seven matchup. Coming up on EA Sports as we welcome you to Nashville, Tennessee for today's game. Down on the sidelines today, it's Dan Quinn. It's been a perfect month and a half for them to this point. Six wins and still no losses. And on the other side, we have the Titans head coach. His team has gotten off to a 3-2 and two start on the season. Matt Bosher ready to kick it away to start the game. Wright's going to be deep here for the opening kick. This game is underway. Cox has got a chance for a return. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. And now we've got what you'd call the wily veteran at quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today. Yeah, when you're a quarterback like this and... You've had success, you go out in the field, you can't wait for the game to start because you veterans think only good things are going to happen to them. So they're confident and ready to go. First down at the 25. Sankey's going to get it from the eye. Here's the Titans lineup. Their passing attack this season has been downright dreadful. Sankey lines up as the single back here. Second down and five. Sankey's taking the handoff. Game's five. So many times you watch football games and coaches just give up too early on the run game. Well, they'll keep it going today after that run. Decent pickup by the running back. The Titans will take the snap from the 35. Can't hold on as it goes incomplete. And here's the Falcons' defensive lineup. What a category to lead. Number one in the NFL against the rush. Get ready. The Titans will take the snap from the 35. Sankey's tackled right at the 35. 
the Titans have a third down coming up. They did a great job a week ago of converting on third down. The Titans will take the snap from the 35. Middle of the field and incomplete this time. The Titans put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. And so now they'll call on Kern to punt the football. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Ryan's heading towards the huddle now, having connected on over 70% of his passes last week. First down at the 20. Freeman's got it on the handoff. Fights through that hit. Room to work. A foot race to the end zone. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. How about the blocking up front? Let's the running back get in the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive, he avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. The point after is good. The Titans are ready to take it to them. Wright's got it on the return. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Titans heading back out there on offense hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative, get the defense off guard, make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. Second down following that incompletion. Let's go. Hey. Sankey's going to take the handoff now. It's a first down. Sankey's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. The Titans have it at the 39. Incompletion here as he was looking over the middle. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. The Titans have it at the 39. Two hands on the football and has the catch. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Sankey's going to secure the handoff. Trufant's going to make the tackle. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second and short. Moore's the one who made the big stop. Coming to the line at the 40-yard line. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Third and two. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. And this building has been the home of the Titans since back in 1999 when they waited for this stadium to be finalized, having to play for a year at Vanderbilt University after moving from Houston. Houston. 
That beautifully executed punt now really will help out this defense, forcing the opposition to start the next drive inside the 10. The Falcons take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looks so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? Falcons have had a great rushing attack all game, Phil. Freeman's been leading the charge on this front, Phil. And they've done it many ways. They've done it with power runs, going outside, going inside, draw plays. Everything is working for this running game today, and it's been impressive to watch. Freeman's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. Makes the catch. Brought down at the 38. That's his first reception today. Well, in the NFL, they can't always block those defensive linemen. Good job bedtime by the quarterback. Avoiding the rush, getting outside the pocket, and a beautiful throw on the run. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. First and ten. Freeman's handed the football. Huff's there to make the stop. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Second and six. Right back to him one more time. Freeman's tackled down at the 45. The Falcons want to count on the running game and have done so to this point. Freeman's taking the ball, and he's leading this team on the field right now. Boy, well, he sure is. And I give him a lot of credit, but I'll also say this. The offensive line, anytime you see a running game go this well, you got to give a lot of credit to the old line. Games 19. Now, if you want to keep your place on the offense, then catch the pass and break a tackle and get some extra yards. That's what the guy did on that play. Nice job by him. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Hankerson makes the play. The Falcons are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. First down at the 19. And now Ryan's going to take off. The defense had that one covered. Good job that time by the quarterback. Gets out of the pocket fast and not able to make the throw for the completion ball. Second down and 10. Ryan's taking off. Gets it out for the completion. That's reception number two for him. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. And it's spotted away. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. Second and goal from the nine. Ryan's going to take off with it. Complete and get his feet down. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal. One. Before there's another snap, the officials want to go back and take a look at that last one. There's no question he caught the ball, but there is a question whether or not he got both feet in bounds. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession of the football? And then once you declare he has possession of the football, let's look down at both feet, see if they're in bounds, and don't forget, you must, must maintain possession of the football as you go to the ground. Inside of two minutes, so that review came from upstairs. They're just doing their due diligence. That play on the field will stand. It was the right call in the first place. Yeah, it was the right call, but you know what, too? Now it answers the question to the coaches, to all the people watching the game at home, and the fans in the stadium. The right call was made on the field.
It's been a beautiful drive so far by this offense, Jim. They started in bad field position. Now they're inside the 20. Let's see if they can get it done from here. And Freeman, Atlanta, in for the score. Freeman's caught his first touchdown of the season. That time on fourth and goal, the offense goes for it. The defense is all excited. They want to try to stop them, and they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. It's good. The Titans are ready to take it to them. And a touchback. The Titans stalled on their last drive, forced a punt. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was flying around, making the plays. Uh, they got to change the tempo of this game. Not only does he know the situation, when you have the football in your hands, you want to get out of bounds to stop the clock. But I'm sure the quarterback in the huddle, before he called the play, said, look, if you get a chance, get out of bounds. The chance was there. Big mistake. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get to it. The Titans are down right now, but they have to feel like they're still in it. The Falcons deserve to be ahead, but we'll need to put together another strong half. All right, let's roll those highlights. First and 10, Freeman's going to get loose thanks to great blocking, and he'll take this 80 yards for the score. That takes the lead up to seven. Okay, Larry, looking sharp back in that studio. Thank you for that. And now we're ready to get the third quarter underway as these teams take the field. And as he takes the knee, Ryan will now bring his offense onto the field. The Titans' defense, where was it the last time? They could not stop the pass. Well, they were trying. I mean, they were working as hard as they could, but, hey, this group they're going against on offense, they're pretty good. Freeman's taking the handoff. He'll pick up seven this time. He's got over 110 yards rushing on the day. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Freeman's met after a gain of eight. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Derek Morgan gets to the quarterback. Pressuring the quarterback. That's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time, they blitz. It was quick. It was fast. And they get a sack on the quarterback. Ryan takes it from the gun. Hankerson with the grab. Games 12. The slant round is not used as much as it used to be in the NFL because defensive linemen read quarterbacks now better than ever, and they jump up to knock those passes down. But that time, they didn't get it done. The slant round is caught and comes up a couple of yards short of a first down. Has his target into the open. Games 16. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Ryan gives it up. Still not taken down. Going to take it the distance. And in for the touchdown. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, 
but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done, and this team definitely has one. He made it. The Titans are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The scores 21 to 0. Cox has got a chance to return this one. And the tackle's made right around the 25 yard line. The Titans offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. The Titans will take the snap from the 25. Beasley's in on the tackle. On the way, third down. Get ready. Grab 38. And after only three plays, that incompletion brings us to fourth down. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Falcons could have asked for this third quarter to have gone any better for them than it has so far as they've just continued to do what they were doing in the first half, up and down the field. Oh, man, they kept the pedal to the metal, man. They are letting it go. They're being aggressive, and they're trying to end this game right here. Freeman's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. The quarter is about to end. One more play first. We're back, and this game has not been close. This is third down. Falcons get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Lions now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. The Falcons running back that time, he makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards, take advantage of that. He tries for the big play, what happens? He gets tackled for a loss. The Falcons have really been able to run the ball today, and it's been a huge reason why they lead. Freeman's dominated on the ground. There is nothing like dominating a football game physically. They have overwhelmed the defense, and a good job by the offensive coordinator managing this game today. Two minutes to go in the second half. We return out of the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter action. The Falcons have it at the 44. Falcons get a first down. Nice job by the coach that time going forward on fourth down. His team is up here in the second half. He wants to keep momentum on his side. That's why he goes for it, and they get it. Two tight ends on the field here. First down and 10. Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field. That's his first reception today. One-handed catches, Phil, are becoming a thing of art. Well, they practice it now, Jim. I think as they're growing up, you see them practice it out on playgrounds when they're in practice, and they come out here in the game, and they just make it happen. That is really, truly an incredible one-handed catch. 
Ryan's completion percentage, 60% on the day. drop that's a ball that should have been caught that incompletion by the quarterback hey I give the quarterback no fault that was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player he's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete third down and ten Ryan Arapo has a sack We got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing, they're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. Freeman's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. The Falcons snap it up at the 26. Going for the deep ball. What a catch! Touchdown. My goodness, Phil, there's certainly not a whole lot of sportsmanship down on the field right now. Yeah, this is getting to a point where even I'm starting to feel bad for the losing team, and maybe it is time to call off the, uh, the proverbial dog and let this game just finish a little bit more mercifully. The Titans are down big here in the fourth, and it's looking like a foregone conclusion at this point. The score's 28-0. to zero. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. The Titans take the field on offense. They have been manhandled here throughout today, Phil. And what can they take out of these last few minutes that could be positive for them? Well, you know, Jim, in a situation like this, there's really nothing you can do now that's going to make you feel better or give you something to carry over into next week. So don't be looking for it. Try to end the game and just know today the team on the other side beat you up and they were the better team. The Titans take it from the 23. And that'll probably go as a drop. Jim, when you look at drop passes in the NFL, it's almost always for the same reason. They take their eyes off the football, the receivers, just before it gets there. And when you do that, that little bit of lack of concentration will cause you to drop the pass. The Titans look like they have nothing left. after, And they're all over him for the sack. The Titans use another timeout here, and they have one left. They call on Brett Kern to punt the football. This will be a fair catch by Hester. The Falcons can make it four successful scoring drives in a row if they're able to put points on the board here offensively they're looking like a juggernaut at the moment phil everything they do jim is working so when you've got it going like this on the offensive side you know just just be aggressive with the play calls because the players are confident and they can make it happen another win here today and we're starting to think maybe we could talk undefeated season i know it sounds crazy yeah well it is crazy and the pressure truly does build uh, against undefeated teams but that is a pressure that you like and I say it to you all the time athletes love it when you look at them well we're gonna look at them at them now let's see if they can go undefeated
for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports. Jim Nance.